joined by head coach Todd Olson of Lynchburg College Women's Soccer. They were picked number one in this year's ODAC preseason poll. They're also debuting at number 16 in the NSCAA preseason poll. Coach, as with any preseason, you like to get your team together as soon as you can, and you had a little bit extra this year to do, as earlier in the month, you were able to take your team to Costa Rica. Talk a little bit about that trip. Yeah, it's our fourth time, and we're just it's a super neat trip because we get to go with people that we really like to be with, and they do a great job of taking care of us and great competition. Um, we had three really good games and played against some national team players, which was really um, eye-opening for us. And then just great fun, great bonding with whitewater rafting and um, – you know, zip lining, just doing really good things. So it's a really great way to start the season, I think. One of the other bonuses with that is, like you've said, you had some games there, so you were able to see your team. Talk a little bit about what you see from your team just so far early in the season, because you do have some pieces you have to replace from last year. Well, and we were missing them. It was really interesting. And we, we thought, you know, we lost an All-American in Jade and, and a great Ford in Morgan. And the previous year, we lost two amazing Ford All-Americans. So it's starting to accumulate. And, and we'll have to see. We're hoping that we have a couple um, sophomore coming in, Caitlin Mertens. We hope it's going to step up, and Hannah Olds, who's be a junior. We hope they're going to step in the, up in that forward position. But we're definitely nervous about our outside mids because Jade's going to be really, really difficult to replace. So let's go with the spot that you may be a little less nervous. You have Emily Maxwell back in the center of your defense. She was last year's ODAC Player of the Year, another All-American. Talk a little bit about her and what you expect from your defense. Yeah. Emily's amazing, and we're just so proud of her effort. She's been named captain, and, and her work ethic is just bar none. And she's gotten stronger, and, and believe it or not, she's gotten better. I mean, I think she's a much better player than what she was last year already. And so we're really excited to see what she's going to do. Um, the other backs, we got Natalie Deacon coming back, and then our left backs are sort of wide open. We had a couple injuries last year, and that's going to be interesting. We'll see. We have a freshman coming in that we think might compete there. And then as far as goalie, we got Tess Freilich coming back, actually. She's a fifth year. And so we've got some experience, and, and we've got a good sophomore coming up. So we think that's going to be okay. So defense, I think, isn't going to be a problem. I'm pretty excited about that. And I think we're solid, great experience, and some amazing players. There. Let's talk up the center of the park then. You mentioned about how your wings, you're looking for some people to step up there. But who's going to be your stalwarts in the center of the field this year? Yeah, we've got Kelly Smith back, and she's just a super consistent player. We've got Rachel Cook returning. She'd been on an ACL for back-to-back -back ACLs, unfortunately, but she's a really, really good player. And we got to see a little bit of what she can do in Costa Rica. And she's going to give us that attacking sentiment that we haven't had since Brittany Klipstein, if you remember Brittany, uh, a former All-American. So we're very excited about her. And then Sam Bagapore has done really well. She did fantastic in Costa Rica. So we've got, we think she's going to be really solid. And then Liz Odens. We like that position. We, we think we've got a lot of different pieces we can move around. And especially excited to see Rachel and see what she can do coming off that ACL. If there's any claim to fame for titles and coach teams, it is offense and scoring goals. Who are going to be your goal scorers this year? Well, we have a sophomore that we really like named Caitlin Mertens, and we think she's maybe one of our better forwards ever, except the experience thing and the confidence. We're just trying to instill some confidence in her. She scored a couple goals in Costa Rica, and, and she scored a goal in the finals, or our last game at Rowan. And so we think if she can, it wasn't wrong the game before, but we think that if she can get some confidence, she can be a pretty special forward, and, and that, that answer will be resolved pretty quickly. Well, we're, we've been experimenting with a couple other systems just because we're a little, again, we're pretty nervous about that outside mid, and, and a lot of the ODAC teams know what we do. Um, we've been consistent with what we do for a lot of years, and, you know, we feel at some point we're going to have to mix that up a little bit, and so we've been playing around a little bit just to see some different systems and a different way to play. And so we'll throw us through surprises out there this year and, and hopefully, you know, upset that a little bit because teams have scouted us pretty well and, and, and we want to make it a little bit more difficult for them. Yeah, I think we've got some up-and-comers. I'm, I'm really excited to see Randolph-Macon and, and certainly Bridgewater's been very strong. And, and then the, the old heavy safe favorites with Washington and Lee and, and Virginia Wesleyan and, and Bridgewater. And I think those are some really good teams in Roanoke. And, and I think um, competition is going to be tight. I, I think it might be some of the tighter competition we've had in a long time. You know, I think that we have some really unanswered questions. And, and it's, you know, if you're going to get us, this will be a good time.